Hi there, Leo. Thanks so much for joining me here today. My name is Halen. Today we're going to take a look at the energy surrounding your zodiac sign for the month of May of 2024. And if this reading resonates with you, you can contact me for a private reading. All my information is located in the description box below. Leo, your cards that I even chose for you are very unique. And my first thought was, let's see what Leo's doing in the astral realm. So I don't know if you're um, just in that kind of like a really spiritual place. Um, I don't know if you're a actually astral traveling or remote viewing or um, just having a lot going on in the imaginal realm, but that was my initial thought. And then the cards that I see here look like there's a lot of um, internal activity is what I would call this. Like this looks like a month of a lot of internal activity. I have each week here. So I have four individual spreads for each individual week. Let's go ahead and see what wants to come out. There's a lot going on here around heartache because I just flipped this card over for the first week and it's three of swords, heartbreak, heartbreak hotel, you know. Um, but I feel like this might not be necessarily, it could be about a lot of things, not just um, romance. It could be about that as well. Uh, there's fall into my arms, the surrender holding the opposites extremes of life, and it looks like a woman holding a child, which is interesting, almost in this cave with all of these souls, the cave of, the cave of souls. It's interesting because there's these souls coming down to the child and then there's other or it's just an individual but it's looking like a child to me because of you've got a maternal line card coming up there's other souls leaving i don't know if you can see there's all of this coming here and then it's a few leaving in this way and just okay so this is big picture stuff i do want to say that we're going to hop real quick to the bottom of the deck because you've got big picture thinking and a higher view at the bottom. Okay, so this is, um, to me, it's this is almost like a journey of souls is how I'm viewing this or feeling into this already. It might not necessarily be happening like in your physical realm. Let's continue because I have no idea what this is saying. Uh, you've got spirit of gratitude netcaster preparations come to fruition and the crossing initiation this almost feels like a soul coming into this is really odd especially self-regulation and the pause with maternal line it almost feels like it almost makes me think about, you know how all the sperm rush towards the egg here, the, the mother, but then only a few make it or something? Like only a few take? I feel like maybe something is... I need tarot something isn't landing I want to use this like a tarot because when I pulled out this tarot to clarify it was like keep it very simple like don't get like you just need a word and this says affairs of the heart fall into my arms <sighs> this might not be for all of you but you might be dealing, it could be a mother, um, but you might be dealing with a, a soul who is about to pass. Not to freak any of you out, that's not, oh God, I just realized. I'm not trying to scare anyone here. Um, let's get clarity on this. Three cards of clarity, please. This does feel like the right deck. Yeah, this reading, like the cards that have been chosen, it's all very like woo-woo. Let's see. Mystery, adventure, beginnings. It's the same feeling. It's kind of like when one chapter ends, another begins. And what happens when we fall asleep? What happens when we die? Where do we go? 
Um, and it's about transition. Transition. Carrying someone through. So this doesn't have to be life and death. It just makes me think about that fascinating portal and change at the bottom. What's going on? Makes me think about, unless this is a huge spiritual like wake up call. Wait, because the maternal line and all of this is self regulation and the pause before maternal line. It's like the idea of the journey of souls and transition and birth and death. And uh, I'm hearing hyper dimension, dimensionality or dimen What? <laughs> I might have to restart this reading. Um, Hyperdimension. Hyperdimension. No. Hyperdimension. Hyperdimensionality of or relating to space of more than three dimensions. Well. Whoa, how hyperdimensional space time may explain individual identity. Um, hold on, I want to read this right here. Goku is scaled to outer because he can destroy the other world, which has no concept of time and space, and therefore is beyond dimensionality and high hyperstructures that are infinite dimensional. Outer versal have no dimensional limits and are beyond all concepts of space and time. So characters that are transcendent of the concept of dimensionality, as well as characters capable of destroying and creating such structures. So if a character is bound by dimensionality, then you can't scale them to outer based on their existence, as even low outer is superior to dimensionality as a whole. Whoa, dimensionality is then the matrix. So if character A is bound by the dimensions of their universe, even if that universe is said to completely transcend all concepts of a universe below it, they wouldn't be outer as they are still below some form of dimensionality. Okay, so again, this is about the journey of souls. And in a way, it feels like maybe you've journeyed you could be holding space a trip for a transition for another. This could also be transition for yourself. What's weird is I'm wondering if maybe you're helping somebody who's having like this out of body experience or who's even had a lot of like attachments or something here. This is really odd. Um, I'm going to keep going because when I get messages like that, I feel like it is poignant and there's actually a lot to it and it's just my mind that is too simple to comprehend what's being shown to me. So if you're trying to help another individual through some kind of transition or if this individual is yourself, it is, um, there's this idea of this hyperdimensional reality like they're not outside and you are not either outside of this time and space thing. Whether or not you're, you're operating in two different dimensions, maybe you're helping an individual or you're being helped by an individual in another dimension okay I feel like that's where we're at but there's some pain here about this crossing or this transition or what's going on especially if you're trying to birth something or help someone be birthed into a new dimension if they're about to, to cross over um, but it's not necessarily crossing over always into death sometimes it can be crossing over into birth maternal line beginnings, this fall into my arms energy. And again, they were talking about something about the importance of identity and notice how there's this multiplicitous hyperdimensional kind of thing here. There's this guy here and then there's only, actually it's like they start to leave one by one. And something here is painting you. Let's move on. Uh, what the f actual fuck? Okay, so um, earth pulsing for <laughs> the second week of May. Basically, you're assisting in a um, transition of some kind, and it's through multiple, it's through different dimensions, whether you're being helped or you're helping another. And there is some kind of pain here to the heart because um, that kind of stuff only even occurs or happens when 
something feels like it, like a glitch in the matrix, right? Like you wouldn't be calling in extra dimensional forces or whatever, or even helping in this way or whatever, if there wasn't something here that was causing that dark, that dark, that mystery. What does it say? Dark matter. It feels glitchy. It feels like it's causing pain. Like it's time for something to circulate and it's like it, it, it isn't. So now here you are or here something else is to assist with that. The journey of souls. Um, okay, so earth pulsing. Pulse of the mother, slow down time and nature. Whoa. Whoa. I don't have a death card. Oh, let's see what you're, oh shit. Oh, <laughs> Leo. Please don't hate me. You probably just won't. I wonder if this video will just get no views. Um, if you look at this woman here, it looks like a body that's being laid to rest. You know how people get their flowers when they've when they're when they're leaving. Um, and you're coming out with the Ten of Swords, which is completion and ending. And you've got here. There's more to this. You've got grace and generosity, the benefactor. That's that multidimensional help or whatever that is. Feeling the world right there. There it is for stuck in the mud. Okay. Something's being completely laid to rest. We've got the Ten of Swords and this woman here with earth pulsing. Something's being completely laid to rest here in the second week of May. And it says integration and spaciousness. Let's get cards here. Uh, okay, so in order for something to be born, does something have to die? And it's maybe is that some kind of only solution is to integrate the spaciousness or the ending of this because something has been stuck. But it's hurting my... F okay, hold on, let's keep going. I need clarity about this. Bushfires, peace, time. You're really up to something really wild here. I don't even know who this could be for. Am I reading for an alien? <laughs> oh my jokes are funny release is at the bottom okay and sovereignty and storms but what you've got here is fury bush fires right it's like the fire this ending whatever this is you have to obliterate or end something here in order to bring peace right like this for something about time here a new beginning it's like you have to wipe the slate completely clean and integrate spaciousness, right? Start, maybe a soul has to start over. Um, or you're having to start over in some capacity or something is coming here to help you do that. It makes me think about just meditation, right? And how it can completely like lay us out and we have to wipe our mind or our slate clean in order to see with fresh eyes or for something to even click here. And sometimes it takes time. Sometimes we have to completely stop what we're doing and walk away from it in order to just, and then in time, maybe months later, we'll, we'll attack it or approach it again and it'll be with ease. Um, so we have to integrate spaciousness here. We have to lay something here to rest in the second week of May. In order for this thing here that you're upset about in the first week of May to even come to fruition or cross over or to be born or is that making sense I like it almost feels like a, maybe I'm reading for someone who does hospice work or uh, but it's this is a lot more complicated it feels like than that and I was not right big picture thinking a higher view it's something that I feel like I'm looking at a, a, an extra dimensional yeah perspective and trying to read for that and I can't I don't know how so I'm doing the best that I can um, <laughs> how do 
how do you cut out and post a reading like this, right? Like, who is, who, you know, when I'm not speaking in layman's terms, I wonder if it'll land on anyone's ears. But I'm going to read what I'm being shown. So there's a new earth. It's happening. Keep holding the vision. Okay. And you've got Ace of Pentacles. Luck. Whoa. That's the complete brand new beginning. So, magical map shifter, sad embrace, and sacred pool. Something's occurring, but there's also some grief in that. In order to shift the map and in order to have the sacred pool, we have to basically put something to rest. It brings us grief, but that's the only thing that's going to allow this new opportunity to occur. It allows for mystery, it allows for what I call grace, and it says chemical imprint, drugs and alcohol, suddenly to felt sense of protection. And I find that so interesting because it almost makes me think about like drug-induced psychosis or uh, like something like that, like chemical imprints, maybe trauma from external factors, even things that we've ingested, right? That it's almost like in order to eradicate the damage that those things can cause within us we have to fully surrender and let go and have this whole experience happen for us to fall into the mystery and the felt sense of protection this actually feels like overcoming addiction now that i'm just looking at it point blank and and, and through simpler eyes with this here it really could be about overcoming addiction and if you notice in the steps of AA or NA, the 12 step program is very much about giving it all away to God, leaving, leaving room for that. Uh, it's a higher power. You don't have to call it God, you can call it the universe, but it's leaving room or space for magic or it's, it's extra, it's other dimensional forces to intervene and enter into your life and bring you the sacredness and the safety and this protection here. And this feels really positive in the third week of May. See, because where we're showing, what we're showing up with here, oh, and that's why, earth magic. Um, but we're showing up with beloved radical acceptance to earth magic. So once this shame, there's some kind of shame that's in the heart here, but once we get earthy with it, brief and frequent eye contact and mutual support and, support and cooperation, that's when this thing can actually be born, okay? And it's practical and it's real. It's in the hands, right? It's in your hands. It's not some lofty concept. This is a practical application of whatever this is. It, it's big picture thinking, but the story is simple. Is that, or, or the practicality of it is simple. Is that making sense? Like how we heal addiction. It can take us through the um, whole journey of our psyche. And then when we heal that, it's, it's, it's deep and crazy, right? Like subconscious work. And then we have the healing. And so very simply how it appears practically is, is that we become sober um, and our lives change. But spiritually, spiritually, this is extremely deep. Right, big picture thinking, a higher view. Look, you've even got mentor here. See what I'm saying? There's some, it could be Jesus. It could be, you know, Archangel Michael. It could be, you know, a, an alien. It could be your deceased grandma. This is something where, um, it could be the universe. It could be your higher self. I don't know what the fuck is going on here, but part of you basically, or part of somebody that you're assisting if the roles are reversed, has to kind of die in order to come back to life again in the way that it's meant to be, not in the, not in a controlled, right? Like we don't, it's interesting. It's kind of like when you come down to earth, it's almost a bit like Russian roulette is what I'm thinking, but those aren't. I don't want to say it like that. It's a gamble, though. Um, and it's just giving me this idea 
this is really odd of, you know, people say, oh, we have these soul contracts and we come in knowing everything that's going to happen and knowing who we're going to be and all that stuff. That's really cool. And I think I, part of me has really believed in that. Um, but I'm just getting this idea right now of what if that's not the case? What if you just have to choose to go in blind and you don't know who you're going to be? And that's the fear. And that's kind of what's been going on. It's like, what will happen if I... And again, something about identity here, what will happen when I, Cancer's reading is segueing into this very much, I'm just now realizing, though I don't really remember it, I filmed it yesterday. But um, yeah, it's like, who am I without maybe this chemical imprint, this drugs and alcohol and whatever that could represent, or who, you know, who would I be if I let my sense of identity go and I grew another one and that's the point is it's actually growing another um, identity here so let's go to the fourth week of May page of swords vigilance this is dedication and you've got the seven star sisters birthing creations tapestry of life self-expression this is almost like joining into the game playing the game of life you've got come together smoke and mirrors and watchers transpersonal these, this is like your spirit squad here, rooting for you to see past an illusion. There's shock, and then there's intention. Once you get over this, you can have this. It doesn't need to be... The vigilance is in... It's in you keeping it grounded here, having this just intention to heal or this and whatever this is, because I'm thinking about sobriety, right? We have to release like addictions in order to be truly sovereign. And when we do that, it can be extremely painful, the cleansing and the storms. It's why before I think we reincarnate, if you believe in that, that we go to the other side first in order to like cleanse, like a squeegee, you know what I mean? In order to cleanse before we come back in so we don't just carry all that shit in with us. Um, it's the same way as going into like, a, maybe you're going to a healing retreat or I definitely see a lot of spiritual activity behind you here of just your guides, your ancestors, your loved ones helping to assist you through this shock of some kind of illusion, like being vigilant and staying true to this intention of just being well. Let's get let's let's get clarity. Why was it so much about like the journey of souls or the cave of souls? I can't even, I can't go back in time. Let's just keep focusing on the forward. Maybe there's some things that are an aspect of your healing here, or this is another's healing, right? And you're the watcher. If you are helping assist someone in the astral realm. I don't know what I was going to say before that. Let's keep, let's get three cards of clarity for just this fourth week here. Endurance, which is, comes out with vigilance. Wow, look at that. And air. And blossoming. This is all like the same card. Okay, and it's something about the passage of life, because in order to have change, you're coming out with a lot of cards like this. Okay. You are having to go, maybe it's like, scor it feels scorpionic. Like, I, I guess maybe I'm filming this a little bit after like the Scorpio full moon, but it feels really like, whoa, like a journey into the mind, into the depths of the psyche in order to find a, what's real and true. And, and that means that you're going to heal here, which is just of this, it's almost like this lifetime. Like you have to gather all these pieces from, these, these multi-dimensional realities in order to gather the pieces to heal yourself here and like you're having assistance with this maybe you're seeing like a shaman or a healer or a mentor or whatever or just a, a spirit team 
Um, but it's it's to sh it's to be protected here. Oh, and it's very sweet and simple. But what happens is, is you've got all these cards. I'll show you your actual cards, but blossoming here, this grove. To gratitude, it's like the cycles of life, right? It's like death and old age and stuff like that, that's real. And that's, it, there's some kind of change. That's what brings the change is the passing of the baton, the, the cycle of life, this, it says gratitude, but this is about maybe letting go of one identity or, or aspects of self that have been in maybe a trauma loop even, and to just being, it's this change to be protected and feel safe here finally. Because we can't feel safe if we're in a trauma loop and we don't know who we are anymore because things become too, we become too blasted open or something. So this endurance, this waxing crescent, look at how these both look the same, just like they kind of look like this figure here. But it's this idea of this growth, this endurance, this is you, this vigilance to, and it's like to traverse the galaxy in a way and come back home, right? To hear, to hear, to this protection. And there's the cave that I was talking about where we were starting earlier, but it's to birth you or another here and not be lost in space yeah that's what it would be it would be like no longer being lost in space i'm getting a lot of soul retrieval stuff this month through different signs it's almost like because it's making me suddenly think of aries reading and it's almost like the same message, but it's happening or being experienced in different ways. So I wonder if like the human collective soul or something, I do believe we're all the signs of the zodiac and then all of these readings set, like they fall into each other, but um, it's all collective. But it's almost like the human collective soul is finding itself again. And so I do wanna say here to just Yes, it's about you or this other individual that you're assisting or, the, you know, whatever. Um, but it's also for the many and the, everyone's also experiencing this exact same thing. And it's not because of you or it's not because of this other individual. If it's an angel or an alien or um, it's just everyone. It's just everyone. And this is your version of it. Oh, good God. Great kitty. Great kitty's just sleeping with his big old belly. Cause he's cute. Great kitty, can you explain all of this to me? He's like, no, I'm gonna stretch. You'll figure it out, lady. <laughs> Wolf. See, I'm wondering if this is about someone outside of you. Oh no. Oh could still be. I thought it was loyalty, but Wolf is teacher. So are you helping someone? You've been getting readings like that from me for a while. Like, I, are you assisting another in the astral realm? And a real teacher doesn't put themselves on a pedestal, right? They're not like, I am the one that shall awaken this person and that person, and I am the... No, a real teacher just like gets in the nitty gritty with you and knows nothing and just shows up and sh t tells you what they what wisdom they've gathered. And in some ways, spirit just works through a teacher. The teacher, the senses of wolf are very keen and the moon is its power ally. If you've drawn wolf's card, you may be able to share your personal medicine with others. Your intuitive side may also have an answer or teaching for your personal use at this time. As you feel wolf coming alive within you, you're, I feel like you're literally mentoring someone in the astral realm and that everything I've been describing is that you are assisting in this integ this integration and intention in another here. It's almost like mu music. In the music world, there's artist developers, right? Like I was just looking at um, this artist, Yeba. She's ama like, amazing. She's just, you know when you're a singer, but then you see a singer like that and you're like, I don't need to do anything. Like, <laughs> thank God she's here. And I was looking at um, 
these older videos of her and then where she's kind of at now. And um, Mark Ronson, who I think, I yeah, I know he worked with Amy Winehouse. I don't know about like Adele, but it kind of makes me think of just this idea, okay? That you can find an artist, a truly great human being or artist or something that speaks to you, right? Like you're the Mark Ronson. And they could be in shambles in their life emotionally or not know how to even create what they want to create. It's like, what do I do with all of these pieces? And then there's the figure that's like this wolf, this Mark Ronson. So again, you can put this in either, uh, it could be reversed, you don't have to be the teacher. You could be the Yeba, not the Mark Ronson, right? Or you can be the Mark Ronson to the Yeba. But it's like someone sees that person's gift and soul and then they have the tools to say, okay, let's focus on your craft together and let's work together and then watch those people de evolve and develop into the artist or the human that they really were always meant to be, this higher potentialized version of themselves that they wouldn't have found if it weren't for that person there to help develop them. And so it almost feels like if you're helping someone through a shamanic, like that journey of souls through a, sh sh through a, and it, that's why it's, it's occurring in the astral realm. It took me a long time to reel in because if it's a shamanic journeying and you're helping with this kind of energy, then you have to, it, it, it is occurring in that liminal realm or in that multidimensional aspect. It, other dim, of other dimensional is what I'll call it, aspect or realm. That's how these things click or take shape because you're helping someone's soul journey. And then of course it, it's, it doesn't need to be so out there. It could be, well, that this whole reading was really out there, but that's how it feels. It feels like you are in the ethers helping to like help thought out like um I have this one friend who was in psychosis and I remember him telling me he was frozen out in space and it's suddenly making me think of him and if there was like a like an individual like a like Leo is kind of showing up to me in my understanding of this reading right now of, um, that's why it's big picture thinking and a higher view right which the artist developer the Mark Ronson they can see where it can go. The artists themselves can't, they're lost in the muck. But that's where also so much beauty lies, right? There's so much gold to be mined from that experience. So it's almost like you can, you can help thaw and guide these souls or this individual to discovering who they are again. And it's because you have a similar shared soul tie in history, right? Like there's a shared something there. I don't know Mark Ronson's story. I don't really know Yeba, but um, obviously they have like a music shared connection, right? So there's something that's shared with this individual. So you may be able to share your personal medicine with others. Your intuitive side may also have an answer or teaching for your personal use at this time. As you feel wolf coming alive within you, you may wish to share your knowledge by writing or lecturing on information that will help others better understand their uniqueness or path in life. It is in the sharing of great truths that the consciousness of humanity will attain new heights. Wolf could also be telling you to seek out lonely places that will allow you to see your teacher within. In the aloneness of a power place, devoid of other humans, you may find the true you. Look for teachings no matter where you are. Wolf would not come to you unless you requested the appearance of the tribe's greatest teacher. So whether this is like a soul or a spirit, it feels like either you are a spirit to another individual or another individual is a spirit helping t to you and helping you. It's all about, yeah. This men this teaching, this mentorship. And I think I'm gonna actually leave it here. It's Wolf is also extremely loyal. 
it makes Wolf very much like the human race. As humans, we also have an ability to be part of a society and yet still embody our individual dreams and ideas. What did this end on again? Watchers, right? Transpersonal. Come together beyond the smoke and mirrors. The Watchers are here to help. The Seven Star Sisters are here to help with the expression of individual soul identity. Helping, it's, it's, this is the story of the former and healed, recovered drug addict helping the drug addict who hasn't found themselves in their sobriety yet. And you can flip that in whichever way you want. This could be the psychic helping the person in psychosis, right? Navigate those waters. The shaman helping the uh, soon-to-be shaman. The music producer helping the artist, right? Whatever, the, the, you get what I'm saying? I'm gonna end it here, Leo. Uh, woo. All right. <laughs> Thanks so much for, uh, I feel these are just a mess sometimes, but whatever. Thank you so much for being here with me. If you have been, I will hopefully see you next time. I love you guys. Mwah.